The plate was 18 euros. This is a past experience I will never forget. The first bite was a shock. Hello and welcome to Rome. It's evening in Rome and that pretty much means dinner time. Here I am near Osteria da Fortunata and this place is famous for its pasta which is made in the restaurant on the spot. So my pasta is here and I ordered cacio and pepe, uh, relatively neutral pasta, so no tomato sauce, just the pecorino cheese and pepe, of course pepper. I want to taste this homemade uh, pasta to see if it's really as good as they're telling, so let's start. The first impression is saltiness, there's a lot of pecorino cheese, then you feel a little bit of burning by the pepper in the back of your throat, and pasta is definitely made al dente, you really have to chew it. Uh, let's continue and get some more impressions about this pasta. I'm kind of getting used to this taste. The first bite was a shock. How salty it was. I didn't feel pepper that much at the beginning. Afterwards, yes, there are chunks of pepper as well. The place have been heavily advertised, but I don't get here any kind of bow effect. It's not like I haven't eaten better pasta at home, to be honest. <laughs> The sauce has thickened. This is as far as I'm going. Also, my two cents on the restaurants around Rome so far, especially near the tourist areas, is that first of all, the tables are all cramped up. You're barely passing in between tables. Also, if you come to dine alone, they will send you to some corner where there is a single table. That really kind of cuts your experience. Thank you. So, this restaurant actually, I can openly say, is a tourist trap. Very high prices. They even put that poor lady in the window to make the pasta whole evening. But uh, the quality really wasn't there. I mean, if you know how to cook, you can make better at home with uh, industrial pasta. Too much pecorino, too much pepper in that cacio e pepe. I know that's the name of the pasta, but for me, just too spicy. The plate was 18 euros. Uh, the service was quite bad. There was one very polite waiter. The rest of them, not even the slightest manners. So I had to sneak around in between the tables really really bad experience but i think this is a proper proper tourist experience of rome and dining in rome uh here a lot of restaurants just see you as money you know walking cash that's it of course there are great people great restaurants but unfortunately here without proper experience you cannot know so i'm back at my hotel and this is the place uh, this toilet seat where i ended some two hours after returning from the restaurant and I spent an hour emptying my system on this very toilet seat. That cacio and pepe uh, really kind of did the job and if you by any chance suffer from constipation definitely you should try this pasta at, uh, at, that, at that place where they make handmade pasta. Uh, the, the place is an obvious tourist trap 
we cannot talk about the quality there. Now in my other video called 24 hours in Rome you can see some quite good places to eat out in Rome and you can watch this video just by clicking on the thumbnail at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and see you next time. All the best.